So, primary engineer on tour, we're off to Scotland to deliver eight courses. We've got two fluid panels, we've got coding, we've got 3D printing, we've got early years, structures mechanisms one and two. And the first job is to get this lot into this lift and into the van. Okay, that's the next stage done, van's all filled. Sally now putting her luggage in. You're going to see a lot of Sally. Sally supporting the courses. This is using hydraulics. Because you know the difference, the difference between hydraulics and pneumatics is you can't... If you use air, if, if you don't fill these stringers full of liquid, what happens is if you just fill them full of air, you compress the air before everything starts moving. You know, sort of flow of liquid is all the hydraulics. In, in industry they would use hydraulic fluid rather than water, but we should in schools. It's actually quite tricky to make because what you have to do is you've got you've got a few holes drilled into this. Engineer. How do you find today's fluid power training? Yeah, it's been fantastic, very informative. I think it's something we could really use as a school that teaches engineering science. We do pneumatics, but hydraulics was something that we didn't really have a lead into, so it's been really, really good for that. My name's Alan McKenna, and I'm from St. Morrison's High School, covered all and I teach biology. So you've been to the fluid power training um, today. How do you think you're going to deliver that to your learners? Our school actually has a whole week wherein the kids are off timetable in the senior school through exams and the lower school, first year, second year, third years, will visit each department for one whole day. And what we're going to do is implement this challenge into that week where they'll visit sciences one day, then maths the next day, then the de technology department the next day. And by the end of the project, they will have this whole constructed fluid power challenge um, to present to the whole year group. And then from that, we'll pick our winners and put forward in order to present their own creation um, within the research facilities and go up against other schools. Good art now. I design the knowledge teacher all the same. Great. And how have you find the training today? I think it was great. I never spent so long actively ignoring the people I've been sitting beside. I just got engrossed in it and we all did. It was uh, it's fab. We have a graphics machine here with uh, two bits of motion. Uh, we have a uh, Upper and downwards motion created at the back here, um, which uh, allows it to move up and down. Uh, we've also got our grabber at the front here that Tom's uh, making work backwards and forwards as well. We still have to do our rotation movement, uh, but this is as far as we got today, but it was going to be done. I teach maths at Larbert High School in Falkirk. How do you find the fluid power training today? It's been excellent, it's been really, really good fun. Um, I do worry that they came in about not knowing enough being a math teacher, I'm not really a techie teacher, but I've learned, learned really a lot today. I had, had a good fun putting our models together. <laughs>